Hi everyone, a little update for you guys on my Ableton Unreal Super Bassy Audiovisual uh, Link project. First of all, I wanted to thank everyone for being so nice on Reddit and YouTube. Uh, you guys are awesome. Sam and I decided we're probably going to do a Patreon soon. It's not up yet, but we'll uh, we'll be sharing project files and templates and that kind of stuff to get people going with this. And yeah, here are some of the new features. Sam created a new device, uh, the original device sent through um, MIDI notes to a specific channel. This device does the same thing, but it analyzes audio amplitude and then turns that into floating point data, which can be routed into Unreal. Sam also made a new router. It basically wrangles all the data coming in and sends it through. In this case, uh, it can send the envelope data from the audio MIDI notes. And I also added a send track function Basically what that does is it allows me to, from Ableton, uh, sequence specific elements in Unreal. And then on the Unreal side, I can actually choose which track they belong to. So in the track switch in Ableton, note C minus 2 corresponds with track 0. I've also put it in the title, in the name here of the clip. And then moving up you know c, c sharp will be track one and so on and so forth that's incredibly useful because it allows me to effectively sequence uh s different elements in unreal from ableton especially in a live context that's that that'll, that's going to be super useful i think oh yeah another addition is a moving camera and the camera, whoops, will actually um, have a lot more functions soon. But for now, it just pans around. Sem made it. And then using the track switch, I can now actually, essentially, when I play this scene that I'm on now and then move to the next scene that has a different track ID, if you will, it'll uh, trigger those new elements in Unreal, which I think is incredibly useful. So I'm going to play this tune and then start the next one. Get ready. and angry looking yeah here's a, here's a little bit uh, of the blueprint uh, I used to create the spiky bass effect it's quite big as you can see and I'm sure that a lot of programmers are probably going to look at this and go what the fuck are you doing but yeah uh, this is kind of what it does it's an actor containing a Niagara system Niagara system has a bunch of user parameters exposed which control the spawn rate and a bunch of other stuff and those are then in turn controlled by just MIDI notes in this case from Ableton. Oh, there is actually some audio coming in as well. The envelope is controlling the spawn of the small particles flying up and actually the size of the shard of the large shards as well is being modulated by the uh, audio amplitude as well so they're kind of sticking out more if it gets louder and the audio amplitude is looking at the bass which can be seen here it's channel 5 so it goes into a branch if you get notes from channel 5 
then send this data through to, in this case, the jitter of the lightning effect, the size of the shards, and the spawn of the blocks uh, that are flying up. And then on the MIDI side, they're also all looking at channel 5, so that's the bass in this case, and then looking at separate notes from that channel, so C2, I think it is in Ableton, I'm not sure, C1 maybe, and then the four notes above that, and they each do like a, they each do a separate element. And then inside of Ableton, this is what it looks like. If I play this bass sound now, The uh, kick and the snare, yeah, they're just sending MIDI notes, and those MIDI notes are controlling two particle emitters. Uh, one of them is just doing like the the circular shape on the ground, which is just like this texture on a plane. The the MIDI notes are uh, sent through to the the activate on the uh, on the Niagara system, so it just plays once once the trigger comes through. And then it resets. Pretty much the whole set's just built out of stuff like this, and they all have the all all of the actors have the track switch built in, which then is uh, has a, a variable here that I can address on this side, um, where once it's in the scene, you can actually decide which track you want it to have it belong to. And I actually intend to turn this into a list, so you can actually put assign things to multiple tracks yeah uh yeah that's a little bit of the uh the guts um i'm gonna put up some very specific tutorials soon on how i did certain things uh there are a few elements in this that i think are quite nifty and i think a lot of people will find useful i think that's it for now uh there's more stuff on the way obviously and um i'll try and post regular updates like this yep take it easy and see you next time.